We need to talk. Oh, uh, what the f did I do this time? You never listened to me. <laughs> if this is a typical communication session in your relationship, then this video is absolutely perfect for you. I'm gonna teach you how to communicate effectively in a relationship. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Little from sexyconfidence.com where I help you create your love story. And part one of this video, which I'm releasing for free on YouTube is how to communicate effectively in a relationship and that's what we're gonna get into. And then part two is only for Sexy Confidence Club members and this video, is, which is part two of this video, only available if you join the club, which is clicking the link in the description or above there, which is the three reasons why men emotionally shut down. So let's start with part one, which is how to communicate effectively in a relationship. Having good communication in a healthy relationship is essentially having a partner who really talks to you, is a great listener, is really just a friend and likes you and appreciates you as a person. Most importantly, it's all about him or her doing their part to make the relationship work. But I should say, before I get into these strategies of being a good communicator in a relationship, I just wanna say this one thing. It is possible to over communicate in a relationship. And quite frankly, I'm gonna admit this to the world, I am guilty of over communicating. I found in past relationships and something I've worked on quite a bit, that I always wanna talk about things, like everything, even the littlest things. And I always thought that that was good communication. But sometimes in life and in relationships, you just need to choose your battles and quite frankly, just bite your tongue sometimes. So here is my biggest relationship tip I will probably ever give, which is don't let the little things in a relationship ruin the relationship by constantly dwelling on them. And at the same time, don't let the big things ruin the relationship by not communicating them. Make sense? Awesome. So here are some key principles about how to communicate in a relationship. Number one is listen to actually understand versus listening to respond. They're waiting for you to finish your statement just so that they can give their counterpoint. It's annoying for a reason because that person isn't trying to understand you. They're just trying to respond and trying to actually defend their point of view. Not good. So when someone's talking, do your best to really try to understand where they're coming from. It doesn't mean you have to agree with them necessarily, but you have to at least try to put yourself in their situation where they are coming from and actually listen to everything that they're saying. It's going to make the conversation go much more smoothly and it's also going to allow you to get one step closer to at least a basic understanding of each other's needs. Number two is explain your understanding rather than saying, yes, I understand. A great technique to doing this is just saying, you know, something like, what I hear you saying is X, Y, and Z, right? By telling them and actually repeating back what they're saying, they're going to feel so much more comfortable that you're actually listening to them. Number three is stay solution-oriented rather than problem-oriented. I see this happening in a lot of relationships and a lot of relationships where they're not communicating well is they're focusing on the problem. What is going wrong? Rather than potential ideas for solving that problem, right? Like a great communication session should be like, when you first start, you wanna define what is the problem, but don't dwell on the problem. Once you've discovered what the problem is, for example, let's say he's drinking too much or he's going out with his friends too much, that's the problem. Then the next step is to be solution-oriented. What is a solution that can work for both of you? A great way to start that out is saying something like, well, something we could try is X, Y, and Z. Great, you're saying solution-oriented rather than problem-oriented. Number four is shut off your cell phone. There's nothing worse than opening up your heart to someone or talking to someone while someone else is checking Snapchat. Number five, use the word I to express how you feel rather than you telling them how they need to change. The closer you can get to having that person understand how you're feeling, the more likely they are to want to change to make you feel better. Number six, don't interrupt them. Let someone go on and finish their statement. The more that you interrupt someone, the more they're gonna get frustrated and the less likely it is that you're gonna to come to some type of understanding. And finally, number seven is don't be afraid to say, I don't know. 
it's really okay to come out of a kind of discussion in a relationship with the idea that like, look, you don't know yet. You don't know where this is going to go. You don't have the solution yet. That's okay. What's most important is that you're following these tips and you're actually implementing them and that you're both trying, right? That's what matters most at the end of the day. And if you're finding that the guy that you're saying is seeing is having kind of some troubles when it comes to communication, send him this video, see what they say. Send him as a joke and then, uh, you know, he's gonna get to the end part like right now and he's gonna realize, oh shit, she was actually serious about sending me this video. So here's a bonus tip that those guys who are watching this video will also very much so enjoy. Here's the bonus tip. At the end of a good old fashioned communication session and relationship, top it off with some good old fashioned freaky sex. Seriously, after you have a communication session or talk about an issue in the relationship, have sex. It's going to allow all those bonding love chemicals to bring you back together. It's a really effective strategy. It's really important. You might not want to have sex with him at that point in time, or you might not want to have sex with her at that time, but I assure you, it's going to bring you back together and it's worth it. So I want to hear from you in the comments below. Have you ever used any of these communication strategies? how to go. And also, if you want part two of this video, I invite you to join the Sexy Confidence Club where we have an entire library of content that is for members only. And also, you can join me on my monthly coaching call where I can be able to answer your questions personally. So go ahead, click the link in the description or you can click the link right up there anywhere on this video. And if you really enjoyed this video, I'd also appreciate it if you gave it a like on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more videos just like this every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week.